One of the most important ways in all of Diablo Immortal to get strong is getting legendary gems. But how do you get legendary gems? Well, you need legendary crests, go figure, or eternal legendary crests. So how do you get, as a free-to-play player, legendary crests? Well, today we're going to be covering in this game all of the ways that you can get legendary crests for free just by playing the game. 68.1% of the people who watch this channel have not subscribed yet. If you are one of the people that have not subscribed yet, but you watch me every day, subscribe and we'll make it much easier to find my channel and see my content if you want more guides like this in the future. Thank you. Number one, temporary events. As you can see, the Hungry Moon is now available. There is a legendary crest as a reward. In order to complete this event, you have to do nothing other than what you were basically going to already be doing anyway. These are temporary but it's nice to see. Don't forget to do these events if you want to get yourself some free legendary crests. I, I literally don't even pay attention to them and end up just picking the rewards up anyway. They're not hard. I like these events for the free crest. So number one, just pay attention to the events and make sure to claim them. Number two is going to be the Heliquaries. If you didn't know, when you actually beat the Heliquaries in a Warband raid once per week, you get an Eternal Legendary Crest voucher. You can take this voucher and you can run here, follow my path, Run all the way up here to where your Elder Rips are basically ran. You're gonna to talk to a vendor that we already have, the Crest Merchant. You're gonna say, I want to buy a Crest. And you can see here, I can now purchase a Crest with Platinum. So you can actually buy a Legendary Crest with Platinum, okay? Which is a new addition to the game. And there you go, look at that. Full screen looks pretty great, don't it? Number three is running Elder Rifts with absolutely no crest, saving up your Fading Embers so that you can then come here to the Fading Embers here and use the Fading Embers to purchase FA runes. You're then going to take these FA runes you purchased. You're going to follow me here. You're going to walk all the way down to where you see the diamond person right here, the gym crafter. You're going to talk to the lady on the right here, Saro, and you're going to click craft. And if you look at crafting, you can see you can make legendary runes here with some runes, but you can also get an eternal legendary craft with the FA runes. And these are, in fact, free. Currently, you can get one of these per week, just like you can get one Warband raid eternal legendary crest per week as well. The Hilts trailer located right here is going to give you another opportunity to purchase a legendary crest. It is once a month. However, if you are an immortal, you get one additional one. Next one is being in a clan. The clan itself is actually going to allow you to be able to get one additional legendary crest at least a week because in the immortals, you can get it from the Keon's ordeal. But even if you're not in the immortals, if you're in the shadow and you're participating in your shadow wars, at the end of the week, there's going to be a one free legendary crest if you won your shadow wars, basically. So the rewards are actually Pretty good, you can get four more a month that way just by participating in, in an event with your clan. Every season, the Battle Pass is gonna have a legendary crest in it actually for free. You're noticing there's more down there on the bottom that you have to pay for, but you do actually get a legendary crest for free every season. So unfortunately, this is one of the lower amount of ones per month. It's literally one per month, but you do in fact get one for free here. Now within the codex, there's actually a new one here. If you go down to achievements and you go to the hero's journey, you're gonna notice it's gonna ask you to do different things. And once you get to the end, you're gonna notice, look at this chapter three, there's a new uh, crest there, legendary crest there. All right, so we have two more legendary crests with some other rewards, including platinum, enough platinum to get another legendary crest through the means we've already showed. So it looks like there is a couple more legendary crests waiting to be got right, th right there. That doesn't look like that's repeatable. Looks like more are coming out in the future, but hero's quests are sort of a one-time deal. So I was able to come to the conclusion you can get just about 16 legendary crests per month because you can get Four from, let's say you're a shadow, not an immortal, because we can't assume everyone's gonna be a shadow. So you're gonna be able to get four from your shadow wars, which is in fact, I do believe doable if you are participating in the game actively, okay? So we have four from the shadow wars. We have four from the warband raids, which are definitely doable because you just have to be the warband raid, which everyone can do. It's basically part of the tutorial in order to be able to actually um, be able to purchase with platinum. And um, when you can, we can talk about platinum and all that, but you can get platinum free to play, okay? That's not a debate, you can do it. So these these are in fact free to play methods. So that's another four a month that we can get from there. We can craft free to play. We can craft with, because you don't need to have crest in order to be able to get the fading embers that you need to be able to craft this. We can craft one more eternal legendary 
um, crest every week because every seven days is enough fading embers to 280 embers um, per week to be able to craft this, which means that's another four, okay? So we have the four from the shadow, we got the four from the warband, and we've got the four from the crafting, that's 12 already. We've got the one that we purchased from the Hilts Trader. Now we've got 13, okay? So the number is starting to get up there at that point. So then we have to start considering things that maybe aren't so consistent. The three that I've left for the 16 of the month is we're going to have two events about a month is what it seems like. And both of those events seem like they reward one legendary crest. Because the Hungry Moon Adventurer's Journey, I think they're gonna keep about the same pace. So we're talking two more legendary crests a month, that's 15. And then you have one legendary crest that you get for free out of your battle pass per month, which comes to a total of 16 legendary crests or basically one legendary crest every other day or for a week. So, is 16 Legendary Crests enough for you as free to play? Well, the pity is actually 50, but what you're gonna notice is that not all of these crests are the same type. Some of the crests are actually legendary, some of them are eternal legendary, and they do actually have separate pities. So when you're acquiring these legendary crests, when you're tracking your actual pity timer, they know you have to get to 50 crests open to be guaranteed a X out of five star, but you have five star for sure. Um, in order to guarantee that, you have to open 50 of each of these legendary crests types, either Eterno or Legendary Crest, they are separate. So I just want to make that clear and keep in the mind too, because you are getting technically 16 crests a month, but they are the both types of crest, so the pity will take longer. Meaning in about, if it's 16 a month, it's more than likely to get the pity out of both of these, going to take you four to five months, depending upon how much you're able to get, you know, more platinum, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They can come up with new events and I can't look into the future. But that's just my rough take. That's every way that you can get Legendary Crest free to play that I've been able to find. If I missed any, please put it in the comments. Let me know, like the video if you want to help me, and please do subscribe as that helps me the most out of anything.